Ooh. You're a dog. Uh-huh. Me too. This video is brought to you by Hunt a Killer. Stay tuned for a fun murder mystery game you can experience with friends. Courage the Cowardly Dog finally came back, but not in the way you'd expect. Instead of a typical revival that checks back in with the town of nowhere, we have a full-length movie mixed with Scooby-Doo. Okay, Scooby's had some dumb crossovers in the past, but this is literally the perfect duo, and no one is convincing me otherwise. Scooby and Courage are dogs originating from the horror genre, and of course, they get scared all the time. When word got out that there would be a crossover movie, reactions were generally positive. Now that Straight Outta Nowhere is finally out into the world? Was it worth the hype? Did it give us a satisfying return to Courage the Cowardly Dog? Let's find out. From the beginning, the movie jumps right into things with its main setting. We have a brief introduction to Mystery Inc., but who cares? They've already got a million more times to shine than Courage. That's why Scooby immediately ends up in nowhere, with our heroes becoming friends. The gang finds themselves in the iconic house, which is the first time we get to see it in years. Eustace's new voice actor Jeff Bergman does an amazing job at replicating the original. Muriel's voice actresses Thea White, and this actually ended up being her last role. As always, she brought everything to the character and delivered in a way only she can. The original voice of Courage also returns, which is nice to hear again. Over the course of Straight Outta Nowhere, the gang wants to solve a mystery of these strange cicada creatures following them wherever they go. There's also a whole plotline involving the mayor and who all these people are, but I'm not gonna get specific because those are spoilers. I have a lot of good things to say about the movie, but before that, here are some of the not so good things. For one, the first act felt a little slow. It was probably their way of reintroducing the old characters to a new audience. About 20 minutes into the movie, we start getting to the real action, and then things gradually escalate from there. Now a very weird part of Straight Outta Nowhere was the Eustace rap. I promise this isn't a joke. There's a random segment where Eustace raps about being rich. It came out of nowhere, and while it was funny, it still goes against what the character is. Felt like some corporate decision, just so they could sell a song. My last major disappointment lies outside the movie, with series creator John Dilworth not actually being involved. No matter how good this crossover is, that kind of takes away from the experience. But alright, now let's talk about what the movie does surprisingly well. I think they made the perfect kind of Courage mystery. In fact, this felt more like a Courage movie than a Scooby-Doo one, since the entire thing takes place in nowhere. These 75 minutes are chock full of references to old episodes and characters. From robots to wearmoles, nowhere has it all! Oh goodness, I never knew I lived in such an interesting place. If you're familiar with the original show, there's a much better chance of you appreciating this and the big mystery. And not only that, but Courage had actual character development. The team behind Straight Outta Nowhere could have kept things simple and stuck to the status quo for Courage, but they took risks that paid off. Aside from developing Courage, I was surprised to see them tackle lore. I'm not kidding. There are some long-running questions about Nowhere that were answered right here. Whether or not you believe them to be canon is up to you, but at least it tries to explain things. Something else I loved about the crossover is that it was funny, plain and simple. The jokes were written well, and fans of both franchises should have a few things to laugh at here. Overall, Scooby-Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog isn't perfect, but it was better than I expected. The movie remains faithful to the terrifying town of nowhere, and while the horror aspect is watered down, there are still some unsettling scenes. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. For those with no knowledge of Courage, it may be in your best interest to skip this one because it relies on the previously established universe. But if you're a Courage fan or have seen a few episodes, this is a satisfying return for the cowardly dog. So to the question in the title of this video, here's what I'll say. Yeah, for the most part, the movie lives up to the hype. Go watch if you haven't already. The doorbell rings, and you open the door. There's a package. Inside is a tale of twists, turns, and of course, a murder mystery. Welcome to Hunt a Killer. Through a set of special documents, evidence, case files, and a whole lot more, you can work with friends to piece together what really happened. The box is incredibly immersive, offering you an ominous world to dive into. My friends and I tried to unravel the mystery of Mallory Rock, and its presentation was impressive. Everything in the game goes through the extra mile of feeling real, 
and we actually had to think about the questions. From Hunter Killer's clean box and presentation surrounding its evidence, you and your friends will have a lot to figure out. As someone who loves tabletop games and solving weird cases, I have to recommend this. If you're interested in trying it out right now, you can go to huntakiller.com slash veilskibum94 and use code veil for 20% off your first box. Again, make sure to use code veil for a 20% discount. Do you have what it takes to hunt a killer? But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.